everybody. Uh, Derek here on Friday's stream. Okay, so today on the Friday stream, uh, we're going to be checking out the Steam Deck, uh, so I recently acquired. Um, so this is the homepage, that's what it looks like. Um, we're going to play through a couple of different games and just to see how it works out. So I have this docked at the moment, so I don't have the Steam Deck in my hands so over there somewhere, which I have absolute shit ton of cables going through this because uh, all of my peripherals are wired. Um, so yeah, so I have the dock, the Steam Deck sits on a dock. Uh, then it has this weird USB arm that goes over the top of it, sits on that. That provides power and it also pushes uh, peripheral messages and stuff out to the HDMI and things like that. Um, there's a HDMI cable connected to the back of it, uh, there's a power cable connected to the back of it, and then there's three USB ports that are all occupied right now. One of them has this Xbox 360 controller. Um, this would have been the last time I actually played PC games um, regularly, was <laughs> when the Xbox 360 was still the thing. Uh, and then there's a keyboard and mouse here that I have that are some pretty shitty Dell generic things that came with the PC, and I bought some new ones to replace them. The, uh, the keyboard's actually fine. It's the mouse that's absolutely terrible. <laughs> if I'm going to make this a regular thing, the mouse has to go. Okay, anyway, you're not hearing any audio because the Steam Deck doesn't have any audio. Um, or, sorry, it doesn't have any music. It has audio. If I move around, you'll, you know, you'll hear that. That kind of stuff. So the stuff at the top is my game library. It's not amazing. My Steam library, as it, as it, as it were. Um... Mostly because I don't take PC gaming very seriously. So most of my library is like PlayStation, Switch, that kind of thing. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to play through a couple of games, uh, give them a look, see how they perform. So I have these ones installed on Steam Deck ready to go. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner of some of these game headers, there's little symbols. There's the Steam Deck icon and then there is a, well, no, this one, there's a no. Don't play this game. <laughs> uh, then we have an I, uh, I, I, tick, I, tick, tick, tick. Okay, so you can see and see at the bottom. Uh, actually, I am covering it. I'll shrink so you guys can see it. Uh, at the very bottom, if I press the X button, there's a filter that comes up, and this kind of uh, tells you what these symbols sort of mean. So verified, generally games that work naturally with your decks built in controls and display. So this is, if you weren't playing it docked, it would still work perfectly fine. Uh, verified and playable. Um, so verified titles are it works without the deck or works without being having to be docked. You don't need to do anything additional. Everything is fine. Uh, playable is you. It works, but you'll have to do something. Usually, it's just um, you'll need to either set the resolution specifically, or you'll need to have a mouse and keyboard connected or something like that. Uh, playable, uh, untested. Untested is as you might imagine. We haven't tested it, so we don't know. Could be playable. Could be verified. Mm -hmm. Could be unsupported. I have no idea. We haven't tested it yet. And then the last one that isn't mentioned is the unsupported one, which is this game doesn't work on Steam Deck. Um, or more specifically, we are we are working. What does it say? So this is the only one we have that has that. Come over here to game info details unsupported. Uh, Valve's testing indicates this title is unsupported on Steam Deck. Some or all of this game currently doesn't function on Steam Deck. Valve is still working on adding support for this game on Steam Deck. Doubt. <laughs> Not, why would anybody be working to support fucking Arkham Origins but whatever so that's what that means all of the games all the games in your Steam library will have that kind of thing if you are on Steam Deck I don't think it's shown on just desktop not sure I could check it's like right there I could check but I'm not going to <laughs> we could check it and then you'll have other things so Beyond Good and Evil has an I which means uh, so Valve's testing indicates the title is playable on Steam Deck. The game is functional on Steam Deck, but might require extra effort to interact with or configure. So this one is, uh, sometimes shows mouse and keyboard or non-Steam Deck controller icons. So you'll probably see like the Xbox icons or you'll see mouse and keyboard inputs when you're not using a mouse and keyboard and stuff like that. Um, the second one's probably the more annoying one. This game doesn't support Steam Deck's native display resolution and may experience degraded performance. So it can't uh, output at whatever the Steam Deck's resolution is. I haven't checked into it. Um, but that's fine, because Beyond Good and Evil is an old game, and I'm pretty sure it outputs at, like, 4.3 aspect ratio or something. So that probably makes sense. And then the rest of them are fine. All functionality is accessible. Uh, In-game interface text is legible. Uh, again, most of this will not be... Games default graphics configuration performs well. So, again, most of this won't actually be important, because we're playing it docked. 
but a lot of these ones go into can you play it handheld you know with just the steam deck controls and will it work fine you know without a mouse and keyboard uh the steam deck doesn't have um a hardware keyboard it has an on-screen keyboard um and it's mouse thing it has like these kind of track pads where just underneath the analog sticks they're fine they're not, like I wouldn't play a game with them, but you can navigate the interface all right without it. Uh, Darkest Dungeon is probably like, why are you playing this with a controller? <laughs> but what does it say? The game sometimes shows mouse and keyboard. Fine. Entering some text requires manually invoking on the screen keyboard. Again, won't be an issue because we're playing this docked. But if you were playing it on Steam Deck, you would have to manually invoke the keyboard, and that's a bit awkward. It's like a weird button combination to get the keyboard up. Oop, wrong way. Ugh, no. What are you doing to me? Installed. Uh, the darkness. Uh, someone said she was messing keyboard. And uh, what was the last thing? The game does not default to external Bluetooth controllers. Yeah, that's fine. We are using a wired 360 controller for that very reason. Uh, I will probably invest in like a wireless keyboard and mouse just to kind of cut down on all the cables and stuff, but like, I'm fine with the 360 controller. Like, like, it's, uh, like, I don't like the colors or whatever, but it's fine. It works, and it works default. Like, I didn't have to change anything you can see in the bottom. Like, underneath me, or beside me, uh, the colors, they're color-coded for the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, the menu has the Xbox icon. If I didn't have an Xbox controller connected, it would just say Steam. Um, I believe you can connect a PlayStation controller, a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, and so on, uh, and it will... I don't think it will update the menus. I think it still keeps them as Xbox. Not sure. Haven't tried it. Uh, and then days are tick. What's what's wrong with New Vegas? Uh, entering some text. Yeah, game supports Steam Deck native. Okay, so this was uh, this was an interesting one that's come up a couple of times. The game supports Steam Deck's native display resolution, but does not set it by default, and may require you to configure the display resolution manually. So you'll need to manually set the resolution. Uh, and then the rest of them are just, they work. Yeah. Okay. So let's go with something that works easy. So let's go with Portal just to get, let's get us started. So will I just change, will I change the game to Portal? Change the game to Portal. I think it will make more sense. So, okay. All right. Let's kick it off and see what happens. I haven't played any of these, so I don't know what's going to happen. External controllers are right now. Steam Input is translating your external controllers from Portal. This means you may not see controller glyphs that match your controller. If you know Portal is native support for your specific controller, you can turn off Steam Input in the controller settings for this game. Okay, I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, you can see the ones that are supported there. So. So far, so good. Yeah, the controller is working. I'll probably leave these alone until I <laughs> until I know what to fucking change. Keyboard, mouse, we're not using. Set to 1080p, 69 aspect ratio. This all makes sense. Shader detail. Yeah, hi. Why not? Let's see, let's see what happens. Uh, Steam input. No, we'll leave that alone. Okay. Anyway, we'll play this for a little bit. Um, I'm mostly just making sure it doesn't have any weird graphical artifacts or the controller doesn't randomly stop working and stuff like that. Put this where it belongs. No. Alright, hang on. Let's put you where you belong. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science I Computer Aid Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. 
Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety for the tests. and the safety of others. Please refrain from... Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. All right, we're out. Yeah. Portal have a sprint button. <laughs> Close the door on me. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across okay, the exit. This aperture science okay, material guys. emancipation I, I before, will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. The storage cube. cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Okay. Alright, this seems like it works fine. Doesn't seem like there's much of an issue to it. Too soon? Oh, uh, no, never mind. It's alright. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Very oh good. Goodness. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. <laughs> Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Tested for what, let us? Let me out! Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely <laughs> on your own. I don't Good think luck. so, somehow, about us.
As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the <laughs> three, truth in three, two, two one. Stop. Stop lying, Gladys. We'll do this one last one and then we'll try a different game. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vapor. Unbelievable. You, subject name here, <laughs> must be the pride of subject phone down here. We'll do one more. <laughs> that one was too easy. We'll do another one. We'll do another one, then I'll try a different game. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. So you can get good strength. Okay, that is. Okay, anyway, that's enough of this. Do we just quit playing? Yes. Okay, and it goes back to. I think I have achievements? I don't remember getting achievements. I not see them pop up. Oh, this must have been the first time I played. That makes that makes more sense. <laughs> okay. All right. So portal works fine. Uh, Hollow Knight. Again, I'll change the name of the game over on Twitch just to make sure people aren't like, "Well, you're not playing Portal." Uh, okay, but the OBS thing wants to not work. No, thinking about it. No, still not doing it. Hate it when it does this, because you can't fucking reload it. It's an annoying thing. Can I just reload this panel, maybe? Okay, let's do a refresh. Alright, there we go. Uh, for whatever reason, if you type too fast, uh, it just doesn't refresh. It doesn't uh, prompt you for any games or whatever. Show me game messages when earning achievement. Uh, yeah. I wanna know. I wanna know when I do a cool thing. That's fine. Video. That's 720. 720 60 hertz. Can do 
better. No, okay. Borderless, V-Sync, that should be all right. Okay, if we're seeing screen tearing, then fine, we'll put it on, but if it's not there, then we'll leave it alone. Recognize that it's an Xbox. Leave that alone. As you can see, never played it. <laughs> never played it on PC. Yeah, leave that alone. Okay. Miles beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you challenged Mess. You the challenge met, rather. Under a payless watch, you taught, we changed. Base and sticks were redeemed. World you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hallowness. By Monomon the teacher. Okay, if you say so. I don't know. I've never, I've never finished all the nights. Too hard. It's too hard, and I don't have the patience for it. We didn't even check if there was a floor. Who knows what's gonna happen now? I uh, hope there's a floor. Ow! On the floor, at least. Okay. I did remember there was a secret here. I got that going for me. Goomba. How do you only took one hit? He does not. He takes many hits. Higher <sighs> beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Hold B and collect soul. Striking enemies, once enough soul is held. thing that threw me off Hollow Knight is not being able to stay put when you want to swing up. Like, I can do it there, but when you're in a panic, <laughs> you end up kind of moving side to side. It just annoyed me. And the pogoing. I suppose I can never really do the pogoing properly.
Higher beings, it was for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. No. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom with a K. Hello, Nest. Kingdom with a capital K, right? A kingdom with a K. You guys need to work on your uh, masonry. You really shouldn't have been able to just slash that now. Boing! Dirtmouth, the fading town. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Can I talk to you? Oh, Hello there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Towns fall quiet, you see? The other residents, they've all disappeared. Go down that well one by one, at the caverns below. It used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. As long fell to ruin, it still draws folks into its depths. Healthy glory, no, wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. All your mapping supplies will be opening soon. Zelda and Cornifer. You mean this well? Probably. <laughs> Stone door with a simple lock. go, I guess. Ow. All right, which way? Left or right? Let's go left. He's a collectibles guy. Once you find some collectibles, come back to him. I don't think he gives you anything until you find everybody. But... Shit. because I need the air dash or something. That pogo move. That's the thing that kind of stopped me from going any further in all the night because I just couldn't get it. Just couldn't get the timing right. Kept dying really, really easily on really stupid stuff. Fuck's sake. Like that, for instance.
We haven't found the cartographer guy. What's the map? Definitely not. Is there no map button? You mustn't have a map button until you have a map. Uh, let's keep going right. We were going right, so let's keep going right. with you. Hey, what's up? Hey. Anyway, so we've collected one of them. We could go all the way back to that guy, I suppose, but let's not. Uh, continue our route right, I guess. Is there anything down this way? Looks like a different area. It's the mine guy, isn't it? There you are. Oh, bury my mother pale and slight. Bury my father with eyes shut tight. Bury my sister two by two. And then when you're done, bear, let's bury me too. Wow. Do you know that one? It's one of my favorites. We could sing something else if you like. But start singing and I'll join in. Bet you have a beautiful singing voice. <laughs> so, what are you down here for? If you came to get wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. I don't know what we came down here for. Is the thing. Oops, shit. since I played this? Oh, that's gonna break. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't have a choice. Alright, I probably need something special to break it. All right, not that way then. Okay, so we've exhausted going right, so let's take this left path. Black egg. Excellent. Hello there. As life was to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've a strong look about you. And Quirrell, something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries. One of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg? Is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. 
Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. Do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. Anything else? No. Okay. Uh, reasonably certain that's the final boss. <laughs> you know, you come back here at the end of the game. circle. Great. Alright. Uh, let's keep going down then, I guess? Let's try to go as far left as we can. Oh, I suppose we can check on this guy. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of gaps. Oh, he does give you money. I thought he did give you something, alright. As you can see, there's a lot of different places for those guys. There's a lot of them. Uh, can I get any higher up? No, not really. So... Let's see if there's a path to the left. Not getting through that. That's a pogo thing area, and I will just die immediately trying it. So no, <laughs> let's try something else. <sighs> Fuck you, game. All right, there's all the way down. We can do that. <laughs> Hey, it's the map guy. Hmm. Oh, Hello there. I explore these beautiful old ruins, don't mind me. I have found us for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade. I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work? Purchase map? Yes. Old LB. Okay. That could be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you're not the head... If she's not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Zelda. She's now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth. Dirtmouth. Selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. Pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. Okay, so we're with Cornifer. Apparently we've been left. I don't think we have. What the hell is the big skull face? I don't know where we are now. Let's <laughs> go this way. not having coyote time. Also, also annoying. I think this is a separate area. Let's go back this way. <laughs> I don't 
don't know where we're going. I did it! <laughs> I did a pogo. Secret wall in a second. Get marked. No. Uh, we really do need a compass if you want to go any further in that game. Or in this area. Well, that's not very nice. spring. Oh, do I get locked in again? No, I get locked in the one time. See if I can pogo up it, but it doesn't look like it. Also, I'm not good at it. <laughs> Doesn't help. Oh, 
this way. Well, I can't make jump, so yeah, I guess so. Right, something's this way, so let's go there. Machine with the symbol of a stag and Sir Geo. Here's your boy. Okay, not yet. Ah, here's your boy. What's up? Dead. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. Go down the stagways and call me to you. I'm stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much. The sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways strep. These yep. stagways stretch the depths of Hollow Nest. Want to travel them? Hail me from the platform. I'll take you where you need to go. Well, actually, yeah, take me back to Dirtmouth. Dirtmouth. Away we go. All right, be back in a second. Thing. The stag station has opened. The building lay silent since before even my time. I've heard the tales of the glorious lines, a web of tunnels running all through the kingdom. Not that I'll be driving along them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. Alright, and looks like Zelda and Cornifer are open. Hey, baby. <sighs> Baffinada. Baffinada. <laughs> okay, I can remember that. Jesus. <clears throat> Excuse me, come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise, he's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. Not much interest in retail myself. Now, let's see what's here for me to sell. Right. Yeah, compass. You need this if you want to update your map with new areas. These pins will mark benches. So this is like a really interesting upgrade stuff for Hollow Knight, is that the map became like an, an upgradable thing. Like it's a bit of a weird way to do it in that, um, you know, most games have these just this it, by default. It just works like this. Uh, yeah, give me that. Super Charm to activate its powerful abilities. Up a charm, open the charms menu after resting at a bench. Alright, we can't afford the quill, which would be nice. Press the what the fuck button is that? This one? This one, okay. Alright, now we can see where we are on our map. Over here. Neat. I'm gonna to try to make our way towards the skull and then we'll see. Try a different game on the Steam Deck. Already there. Let's go, buddy. Assume as a boss. Nice 
first to get that, but without the boss, or before the boss fight. <laughs> he mad. So angry. So angry. A lot of money. Making that noise. Oh. <laughs> Can't get back across. Uh. Nope. Alright, that takes us into another area where we learn our fireball spell and a bunch of other stuff, but I think we'll move on to a different game. On the off chance that I decide to come back to this, I'm just gonna go sit down at the bench.
All right, we're back to Steam. Cool. Well, testing indicates the whole line is very fun as Steam Vader to match your experience. Yes, yes, it does. Okay. Right, so that's too... Oh, damn, I keep doing this. That's too verified. Yeah, so they work fine. No real issues there. Let's try some games that aren't verified. Okay. I'm going to try Beyond Good and Evil just because I actually do want to stream this at some point. So it would be nice to know what happens. Make a selection to launch Beyond Good and Evil. Let's try this game instead. This game will use... What is it telling me? Anyway, it's running an install script, so I guess we'll wait for a second. I didn't tell you to launch the game. <laughs> I told you to launch the settings. Whatever, it's happening now. Let's see what happens. Suspense. Suspense is killing me, kids. Is it gonna work? Do we have any progress indicator? No. <laughs> Something's happening. That's all we know. A thing is happening. Beyond Good and Evil. Not properly installed. Please install Beyond Good and Evil. Great. I need a mouse, I think. Okay. Hmm, let's try that again. Let's try just play. I guess we'll use a community layout. I think that was much faster. Wow, this is very zoomed in. What does it look like on stream? <laughs> That's all we have for our options as well, so that's not ideal. Fucking hell. Uh, okay. Oh shit. No, 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 get me out. Okay. Not sure this is really viable. I mean. Like for the stream, I could zoom in on it and whatever and fix it that way, but for me, I can like barely read this text because it's heavily pixelated. I wonder now that I've launched it, will settings work properly? Let's try it now. Might be something I'll need to look into. Um, forums is this and such. Or I could just see if I can find a HD version somewhere. <laughs> and get play that instead. I would rather play the original because the HD version has some weirdness. No, okay, not working. Okay, that's one game not working. Uh, okay, Darkest Dungeon, Darkness, Fallout. Darkest Dungeon gets f moving pretty fast, and also it's mouse and keyboard, and we haven't had to do a mouse and keyboard game yet, so let's try that. To enter text in this game, you'll need to open the on-screen keyboard. Cool. So as you can see there, the Steam button and X on the Steam Deck layout. It's the same. It's actually the same as the Xbox controller layout, which is why I'm fine with using a 360, because it's the same. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try mouse and keyboard for Ruin this one. has come to our family. This game is quite loud. Drop this down a little bit. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I love the presentation I of this game. Years in I ancient love everything about it except manner. playing it. Because <laughs> it's so stressful. And, luxury. and yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Tired of all the singular unsettling porn stars, tales drugs, suggested the mansion good itself food. was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Antediluvian evil. I know antediluvian is like supremely ancient or something like that. Ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows. Clamo. Nice. Of the darkest dungeon. Dankest of dungeons. Dankest dungeon is about making the most of a bad situation. <laughs> yeah, God. Oh my god, it is, really is about that. There are always fresh souls arriving via the carriage. Yeah, but you're fucking starting from scratch again, which is the really annoying part. Enable data collection. Disable data collection. Sure, you can have it. I don't care. Okay, so we've encountered one of the first problems, which is I can't see the mouse cursor. It's here, somewhere, but I can't see it. I can see... Actually, I'm probably covering it. Maybe I can... Okay, I can mouse over the Color of Madness. Or I could, a second ago. There it is. Alright. I can't see the mouse cursor, though, so that's not ideal. Kind of having to guess where the fuck I am. It was a long time ago I played this. 2019? Yeah, makes sense. the mouse. I'm trying to select the letter to begin, but you won't let me. Sure. Ugh, hang on. Does the controller work a bit better? No. Can I just hit enter? No. Where's the mouse? Alright, it's over here at the moment. Okay. Fucking hell. Oh, I had it. Ah, oh, there it is. Jesus. Right. Radiance. Because we're only going to play this for a little bit. Estate name. Dank. Dank dungeon. Oh, it would be really great if you guys would let me uh, see the mouse cursor. I want to just start, though. Can I start? along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside, leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. Tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other 
damnably transcendent terrors. <laughs> So steel yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Stagecoach destroyed and the caretaker gone, you will have to make the journey. Hamlet on foot. Right. To move towards another room, use the right... St okay. I think what's happening is it's not showing me the mouse cursor because it has the controller still connected. So... can't see the mouse cursor, which is not ideal. Can I keyboard up and down on this? No, of course not. Controls. No. Not what I want. Control options. Controller enabled. Ugh. Off. Where's the mouse? <laughs> I don't know where it is on the screen. I had it there. Wait. Ah, show me the fucking mouse pointer. Okay, I'm gonna try and uh, unplug the Xbox controller and see if that fixes it. Because remember, the purpose of this stream to test this kind of shit, so... Alright, so I... Fuck. <clears throat> I both unplugged it and threw it on the floor. Well, that should definitely make it work, right? Okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, well, it's not that it's unplayable exactly, it's just... very difficult to actually do anything. Can't get to the fucking... Exit option either. I have to see. Right. Something I'll need to look into. So, what was that? Beyond Good and Evil and. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil and Darkest Dungeon. I have some issues. So, that's something I'll need to check out. Let's see if any other games have some similar problems on not being able to see the mouse cursor. Sorry, uh, I'm also touching the screen. Uh, trying to put the Xbox controller back in. Alright, back. You can see what my last search was. <laughs> I was looking for Prince of Persia, the original one. I want to play that. Alright, we're back to the controller. Alright, Darkest Dungeon has some issues. Beyond Good and Evil had some issues. Kind of made them... Well, Beyond Good and Evil we probably could have played. Actually, is there a Beyond Good and Evil HD? Let's check. See that one, that's only because it's in my library. No. See, there is a HD version. Um there's a HD version on PlayStation. It doesn't look like it's on PC. Alright, I'll have to look into that. It might be a U Uplay, Ubisoft thing, something. It sucks though. Okay, what else was unsupported? Alright, darkness. Give that a shot. See what happens. This game will use the recommended template layout gamepad. Got it. Oh god, we're installing Microsoft Visual Studio. So it's funny, it's like Darkest Dungeon says, it will show occasionally uh, the mouse and keyboard controls. <laughs> it's like it fucking didn't even show end, didn't even show the mouse. Okay, so the darkness too. 
is a uh, first person shooter. It's also insanely loud. Let me drop that down. Sorry, guys. Uh, I have a full LP of the original game over on the Archive channel, over on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Doom25, check it out. And I really liked it. Uh, the Darkness 2 is even better. In my opinion, the art style is very different. Seems okay so far. Controller works fine. Resolution is 128720. Can we do any better? It's the best it can manage. Texture memory, high. Shadow quality, high. Desync, we'll leave it alone for now. Is it gonna shit the bed? Oh, that's fine. Controls. Not gonna touch. Uh, device type pulse audio. Oh, what the fuck? I'm gonna leave this at default, Jesus. I don't want. I don't wanna know. Difficulty. Hitman, Don, Thug, Mobster. Which is the worst one? Mobster? Thug? I don't know. Stay at Hitman, I guess. Subtitles. Not sure what Vendettas is. I think it was the multiplayer thing. Alright. Thug, Hitman. I'm gonna do Thug because we're not gonna be playing this game for very long, so. No. We'll get through as much of it as we can. No. You wanna see previously on the darkness? <laughs> watch my fucking watch my let's play. Right around the time he died, my father said to me, said, Jackie, you can't outrun your fate. But you sure as hell gotta try. I didn't really know what he meant back then. See, there was something inside me. Something terrible, waiting to get out. And when it did, it made me watch the only thing I ever cared about. Get her brains blown out right in front of me. Then it gave me the power to make things right. The kind of stuff you only see in your worst nightmares. The killing only made it stronger, harder to control. Eventually, I found a way to bury it. Ever since, it's been trying to get back out. It calls itself the darkness. darkness. So, if you're wondering about like the graphical quality and whatever, the game is meant to have a kind of comic booky look to it. Come on in. Hi, Vinny. How's your family? Which one? Boys, check out the rack on the brunette to your right. Can't. I can't move. This is my right. Nice. That's his left, dipshit. <laughs> hey, Jackie, check it out. They put up a picture of your dad. He was a good man, your father. Good man. Citation needed. Time to do the press. Come on, boss. They got your usual table ready. Twins are waiting for you. Terrific. Hey there. Hey, yo, Paul. You hey, Polly. My treat. All right, so in this, Jackie Estacado is uh, head of the family after the events of the original The Darkness. He has a kind of eldritch abomination bonded to him, which is what gave him all his powers and such. Ooh. This is an Italian restaurant, but okay. Here you go, boss. Hey, yeah, ladies. Bone apple teeth. Bone apple teeth. Can't help but notice Hi. your plates aren't actually in front of you. Remember us from the candy club? Not really. Well, do you? Sure he does. Trust me, ladies. I wish I did. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Jack, get down! Crap. Oh well, guess we won't be getting to know the twins. Well, we'll be getting to know a different, different set of twins. 
Jackie, you stay with me now. Oh, shit, look at his leg. Benny, what do we do? You guys take point. I'm gonna pull Jackie out back. Jackie, listen to me. I'm gonna pull you out back, but you gotta take this. Get these guys off our ass. Benny, I'm gonna slaughter these pigs. Piggies. Here he is. <laughs> Too spicy. Right, we're a little on rails right now. No, not the boys. Joey and little Timmy and. I've pissed off a lot of people. Watch your back, Richie! Ooh, boy! Uh, I think he can see his own back right now. Oh, what the fuck is up with my leg? This guy's doing a pretty good job, though. Oh, you gotta give me a second, Jackie. I ain't been to the gym in weeks. Jesus Christ! Get off our backs! No, I'm not. There's somebody else over here. It's definitely not me. In the balls. My boss, listen to me. I can see the kitchen from here. We can make a break for it, but you gotta take both pieces. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Double time. Isn't ideal. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, fuck. Hurry up, Benny. They're in there. That's done. Quick, ah, no. Jimmy. Burn in hell, Estacado. No. <laughs> too easy, too hard. Change the difficulty. Listen, game. Use my power or die. Never, never again, you son of a bitch. What the fuck is that? Stronger than his father. Keep pushing him. Still breathing. Our motherfucker. What do you want to do? Come on, come over here. I got. I got something for you too. What's up, boys? Not quite, but close enough. Yeah. We back, baby. I fix my leg while I'm at it. Hey, Vinny. Hit me, Vinny. What the fuck just happened, Vinny? Who hit us? I don't know, boss. I don't know. After the explosion, I saw some guy with a limp. He had some weird-looking fucks with him. I, nobody I recognized, though. Where'd that piece of shit go? Uh, they headed down the alley. The rest of our crew's out front, so you can meet up... <laughs> we still have mountain. some crew left after all that? But I'll be right there. I just... just need to get my wing back. How are you still alive? We got set on fire. All right, we got some hearts to eat, gentlemen. You know, me and the boys been waiting a while for you to bring out some of that old Jackie as the guy. How do I eat hearts? Now you get out of here, guys. Go. I'll Is it not? Oh no, that's a bum. Can't eat bums. Only eat hearts. The rest of the guys are out on the street, boss. 
Head down the alley and meet up. Ruby's your man outside the restaurant. You got it. What is that? Some kind of monkey. Yeah, that's what I am. Eat shit. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my, yes. Give me that. Can't have it. Vertical slash. It should have died, Jackie. You first. Hey, I said first. Hey, wait a minute. Come on. What the hell? Jenny? Hey. Oh, the torturing begins. It's a mashed potato type. Yeah, something happened. I don't know, big explosion. They probably heard it. Probably did. The whole place smells like gas. I think we opened up a main. They could go up and... No! See ya. Delicious. You're dead, Am I? I think he'll find you are the one who was dead. La pistol. Mmm, tasty. Hit me. Which I'm sure I am, boys. Get a shield. first. Sulfur, brimstone. I came from your noggin. Could you forget that already? Come on then. Who doesn't ever explain why he's a cockney guy, but whatever. Alright, we got an Uzi in our right hand, pistol in our left hand. This is. What's this? Stay away from the light. A relic. Okay. I think that's a collectible. Okay, I'm gonna eat this at somebody. Different weapons? No, they're the same one. Alright, what am I doing? Skills to pay the bills. Using Dark Essence game for killing enemies, Jackie can unlock powers which make him even stronger. Purchase the talent, eat hearts. Ah, that's why I couldn't do it. I needed the talent first. Delicious. Is LB Normandy a sacrifice for talents first? Okay.
Come a bill, come a bill, increase ammo. No, boring. Health executions, grab vulnerable enemies, then proceed to perform a health execution. Get some health back. Yeah, probably. Demonic lift, slash an enemy into the air, and he'll be held there for a moment, suspended by the darkness. Ah, yeah, that's fun. I forgot. I forgot to actually buy it. I pressed the wrong button. Why am I such low health? I thought that said rest, not reset. Delicious. Let's crack some heads. Bollocks! It's locked! Do me a favor and see if you can open that box up there. Heart seed, give me a second. There's our boys. They went that way, down into the subway. What the fuck are these guys, Jackie? I mean, you don't need to eat all their hearts, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because it's fun. I'm stuck. Alright, should I talk to the boys? Make sure Fat Tony. Dino Costa. Take the lights out or you won't be able to walk through. Oh, can be grabbed until the light is destroyed. Got it. You can have it if you want. Blech. Nasty. Take whatever you want, as long as I get some answers. That one doesn't count. As I remember this, they're not as restrictive. In the first game, it was very restrictive on making sure you take out the light, but then uh, the game also had a straight up take out the light button. So, <laughs> just that too. It's a little real.
defender. <laughs> you piece of shit, give me one second. I'll be back to you in a minute. Why can't I get this? Too expensive. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get the one that gives us health. That's just nasty. Boys didn't fare too well, did you? Nasty. I believe I can throw this guy, that guy. Shooting at me. Idiot. <laughs> oh no, I can't. This superpower. What a counter. Got it. Now where the hell are we? Johnny? What you doing, Johnny? Johnny? Johnny fucking pal. What are you doing here? And where the hell are we? You let stupid stuff get in your head, then it gets all jumbled and weird, and people think you're nuts! Have I found you? Have I not, have I not found you? You're here. Okay. Oh. Hey, Fat Tony. Hello. Tony, Tony, what happened? Did you find the guys who hit us at the restaurant? Sometimes I can't tell the difference between a fruit and a vegetable. All right, well, right. Jesus Christ, what is this? Well, tomato is a vegetable. I gotta get out of here. No, 
Tomato is a fruit, Great. but you don't put it in a fruit salad. I don't like beans. I like strawberries. Well, I'm the other way around, Tony. You? Uh. <laughs> oh my. Now that is a deep throat. I just black out. Jackie, over here. Hey Tony, what's the difference between a fruit and a vegetable? Jesus Christ, Jackie, we thought you was dead. What happened? I don't know. I uh, I handle things like I always do. What the hell's going on, Tony? Hell if I know, boss. Look, we gotta get out of here. You go in your limo, and I'll go ride in the car with Vinny. He busted up a couple of ribs, but he's gonna be fine. Is Vinny our boy? Got caught in the explosion? The first time you use the darkness, it scares you. But once you've tasted it, you can't stop. That's all you think about. Like I said, it consumes you. Every second of every day for the last two fucking years, I kept myself in check. Gritted my teeth and kept it buried. Oh, now it's back. And I can feel what it's doing to me. So, uh, I guess setting you up with the twins didn't go so good, huh? <laughs> yeah, no shit. I'm glad you're all right, Ben. Now, can you tell me what the fuck just happened? I don't know. I saw some weird-looking guy had a limp. It was crazy, like one minute he's there, the next minute the guy just fucking disappears. It's a good trick. Uh, I must have hit my head or something. Look, anyways, Jimmy says he's got a lead on the crew that hit us. Good. I'll find Jimmy. Tell him to meet me in my office. I'm gonna head upstairs. Yeah, sure. Whatever you need, Jackie. All right, we're at the pub, more or less. It's kind of the whole area of the game. Kind of hang out here in between some missions, not all of them. Some missions have back to back. Yeah. Wow, that's a big jump. That is a big jump. How do I crouch? How do I have to get the darkness out. Nope. <laughs> no darkness allowed at home. Hey, ladies. Vinny, I thought I told you to go find what's his face. My office. Me, I guess? Younger? No pictures of Jenny, you would think there would be, since he's all about Jenny, really. Sabres? From Mexico? Mexican flag? Fuck. No, it's not. Is it? Shit. <laughs> I can't remember. Colors are right, I don't think it... Freezer handle broke off again and it's jammed, sorry. Great. Well, we're not going in the freezer then. Hey! Now time for news and weather together, brought to you by the news team at News Watch 6. Popular restaurant and night spot Mama Lucchese's was the scene of a violent explosion and gunfire sure was. tonight. Details remain sketchy at this time. <laughs> Police claim that emergency... Police claim some horrible tentacle hentai monster killed everybody. Oh, we got the same, we got the same, uh, paintings all over the house. He seems to like just a handful of them. It just don't seem right. I think the guy's fucking nuts. You think the boss is a nut job? What, you don't? Hmm, I think somebody's looking to get fired. Hey, parlor room. You don't get it. You're well, you guys suck. Getting any younger. About time I take it easy. The library. It's a fucking boat, Frank. Can a boat tuck you in at night? Can a boat make you children? A boat? Alright, go see your objectives. Look, I know what my objective is, okay? I'm fucking around in my house. <laughs> Give me a second. Is this a painting of a statue or a statue? No, it's a statue. Okay. Bedroom? My bedroom? Guest bedroom? 
Ook. It says press X to pick up, but it's not Tola. Anyway. I think the relics have something to do with uh, upstairs instead of downstairs, like the darkness. Okay, actually, where am I going? Okay, that's not my bedroom. Alright, game wants me to go there, so we're going this way. Another bathroom. Another bedroom and bath. Jesus. Can I look at the collectibles I picked up? Relics. Roanoke's Bane. Think back to your high school history class. Wait, did you even go to high school? You know what? Forget it. I don't want to argue, nor do I want to punch. Nor do I want you to punch me in the face. So I'll just catch you up to speed on some stuff. I'm sure you already know. The last colony of Roanoke was a British colony off the coast of what we now call North Carolina. As the name implies, it disappeared. The colony, not the island. 115 people just whoosh gone. To this day, no one knows what happened to them. Well, no one except me and every other supernatural junkie on the planet. See, the darkness was first carried to North America by one of its by one of the colonists, and where the darkness goes, its enemies follow. One of those enemies, the Angelus, came to a nearby tribe of Croatoan natives. Influenced by the Angelus, a Croatoan maid slipped into the colony under Cloak of Night and massacred the colonists in their sleep. This is the weapon she used, Roanoke's Bane. But the Angelus has been mis had been mistaken. The darkness was not in Roanoke, as it was being carried by the colony's leader, John White. John was back in England, procuring more supplies. When he returned to find Roanoke destroyed, the darkness knew the Angelus had been there. Fortunately for the Croatoans, the Angelus had already moved on. They were defenseless when the darkness fell upon them. Looks like the colonists have been... There's fair, I suppose. I missed one already. True Revelaton. Oh wow, you seriously have a copy of the True Revelaton? <laughs> I'm impressed, Jackie. Didn't peg you as the reading type. Who is talking? Call this book rare would be laughable. Magic swords, true love, stake. These things are rare. The True Revelation is one of a kind. I'm not exaggerating. Every copy is completely different. See, the true revelation is actually the revelation of John. The Bible's explosive summer summer blockbusting finale. There are three schools of thought about the true about the revelation. The first believes it is a literal prophecy. This is retarded. But the second believes it's a metaphor for Roman persecution. Plausible, but boring. The third believes it is a code that once deciphered will reveal the true revelation. People who believe this tend to be insane, but also extremely fun at parties. Now everyone deciphers the revelation differently, which is why each copy is entirely unique. Just flipping through this one, it appears to have been deciphered by the Brotherhood. In fact, it, pre it predicts the Brotherhood's descent into Crazy Town. That means this is a relatively true revelation. See, we can prove the Brotherhood went crazy, but we can't prove that the revelation predicted. But what the revelation predicted? Chances are the man who wrote this copy only saw what he wanted to see inside the revelation, or he was insane and poured his depravity on the page. Like they say, write what you got. Either way, this translation has probably guided the Brotherhood's actions for at least a century, kind of like the normal Bible still does today. Almost makes you wonder who's crazier. Okay. If you say so. That crate's the guy's back funeral. What do you mean? You heard the expression, mess with the bull and you get the horns? <laughs> well, mess with Jackie and you get those two things ahead. Ooh, nice. Turlet. Ah, uh, okay. Talk to Jenny. I'm <laughs> still using the picture from the first game. I saw you again today. In the alley. Down on the tracks. So the art style is different. Like that's more uh, like from the first game. It's been upscaled, but yeah. You torture yourself with her memory, Jackie. Jenny would never have wanted this. It scares me that you're so much like your father, Carlo. He could never let things go. Aunt Sarah, I'm fine. How many times I got? At least one more. You're a terrible liar, Jackie. Sometimes, sometimes I, I think I see her. And it's like, it's like she's not gone. 
But she is gone, Jackie. Mm. You buried Jenny mm. years ago. I know, I know. Maybe. Listen, Aunt Sarah. Thanks for Maybe play more of the game. But I'm okay, <laughs> all right? Just got a lot on my mind right now is all. Fine. If you ever get the balls to actually talk about all this, come see me and Absolutely my room. Absolutely not. Quit busting my balls, all right? All right, we'll not get into that. If I was planning on doing like a full LP of this or something, we might, uh, I might now, you know, because that opening section reminded me that this game is a lot of fun. The whole quad quad wielding, as they called it, where you use all four of the shoulder buttons. So you like the triggers are the guns, uh, and the bumpers are the arm head, the twins. Arm head twins? Yeah, that makes sense. What am I doing now? Go to bed. Get dressed. Reading magazines, comics. Insolvent monthly. Modern. Exterior, Tavern Mag, Hellmaster, possibly? I think they're meant to be comics, but they don't sound very good. Alright, I guess I go to my office. Maybe he's found... whoever. Hey, boss. So what's what? I want you to go find somebody for me. Johnny Powell. Lives down by the Queensboro Bridge. You find him and bring him back here. Johnny Powell? Ain't that the guy that used to help you out with that thing of yours? He was a weird fuck. Whatever happened to that Probably guy? Probably sent him away, I think. It don't matter. I need him back. Go bring him by for a visit. And hey, you don't have to be nice yeah, to I him. mean, you could right? be. You could be a little nice to him. Guys go get him. Oh, hey, uh, Jimmy's waiting for you in your office. He's got a lead on the guys who hit us tonight. Thanks, Vinny. Anytime, do up your, Let me know do you up your bow tie, Vinny. Look like a slob. All right, Jimmy. Jimmy the Grape. Good to see you in one Over here, Jimmy. Hey, Jim Chenink. How's it working? Cool as you thought? Uh, for the most part. Um, some games work fine, and then there's been a couple of games that are a bit weird. Can I skip this? Whoever did skip. this to skip. Skip. All right. Skip. Stop talking. Uh, mash. Okay, good. All right. Uh, that's probably enough of the darkness. Let's try a different game. Yeah. So we had uh, Hollow Knight works fine. I mean, all the games that were verified that work fine worked fine. Um, it's just some of the games that said they're playable, but there might be some issues. So, like, what was the issue with this one? This game sometimes shows mouse, keyboard, and non-steam. Yeah, we didn't get that at all. That didn't show up. Maybe it comes up later, but we didn't see any of it. It also did say sometimes, I guess. No, nope, wrong way. No, nope, wrong way. Down one. Darkest Dungeon, I can't see the mouse cursor for whatever reason. I can mouse over things, but I can't actually see the, <laughs> the mouse cursor, which makes it kind of unplayable. And Beyond Good and Evil works, uh, but it is in a very tiny box in the center of the screen. So it's not upscaled at all. So that might be one for emulation rather than anything else. Uh, Portal and Hollow Knight worked fine. I don't imagine Dead Space will, will be fine as well. All the ones that have the green tick are probably all right. Okay, so last one we'll look at, or last two we'll look at, because I have a feeling Batman's just not going to work. So let's try Arkham Origins. I have a feeling this will just be straight up lol. What are you doing? So this one is just straight up uh, unsupported. According to Valve, this shouldn't, this won't work on Steam Deck. So let's see. All right, using the recommended template layout of my old Xbox 360 controller. I will probably look into getting the PS4 controller attached or maybe the Switch Pro controller or something. I don't know. Wireless 360 still needs batteries, right? Or, the, sorry, wireless Xbox controllers still use batteries, right? They don't have a rechargeable thing. Okay, so I only picked this one, not because I necessarily want to play it. Because I don't, really. But I picked it because it's unsupported. Uh, and it was a small download. 
I have some other games that are also unsupported, but they're massive downloads. Uh, and they also have other issues in that they would be, this isn't a good start, they would be, um, what do you call it? Mouse and keyboard games. So I'd rather, like, limit the amount of things that can go wrong. And with this one, it's just, it doesn't work. On Steam Deck. So we'll see what happens. We get to the main main menu. Does it just shit itself or what? Because the unsupported thing, they don't specify what exactly is the problem. So it could be that maybe the Steam Deck controllers don't work properly. Xbox One uses batteries. I use rechargeables. Yeah, see, that's why I don't like it. I would much rather, like, the PlayStation controllers has a built-in rechargeable battery. All right, so we're okay so far. Searching for clown loadable content, you won't find any. This game supports autosave. Yeah, cool. Sign up for this. Nope. Never remind me. Fine, remind me next time. Okay, we seem to be good. Let's see what's in our options. Alright, this is all basic stuff. Graphics. Alright, so it's 1280, 720. Cause that's what Steam Deck outputs at, so that's what we're restricted to. I really like my 8-bit controller as well. Okay. 8-bit do. I'll look into it. Like, if it's a case that I can get the PlayStation 1 working fine, I have I have so many of them. Probably we are. V-Sync is <laughs> default to on. Ouch. Alright, I'm gonna leave these at defaults, but it seems alright. Sure, run a benchmark. Is it loading a benchmark? Is this the benchmark? Who knows? Who knows with this game, honestly? Alright, so that's 60. Yeah, it's, you know, it's dipping under it every now and then, but for the most part, it's staying pretty stable. Can I move? No. Can I move anything? No. Black Mask. What's up, Black Mask? I'm gonna punch you very hard in the face. Two Black Masks. Three Black Masks. Hold on a minute. I think you're just Black Mask thugs. You know what? That's fine. How do I get out of this? <laughs> hmm. Let me out. I do not let me out. Anyway. I'm gonna let this finish. Oof. Frame rate drop here. Probably the steam. Transparencies are always things that mess up. Frame rate. Or not mess up frame rate, they're just uh, computationally expensive. Why have you gone yellow? Oh, wait, what time is it? Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> so, this is something I should probably turn off then for the Steam Deck if I'm going to be playing late at night. Or if I'm going to be streaming at least. Uh, the night mode is on. And that seems to filter through to the dock as well. So, that's why it now has a kind of orange sheen. <laughs> okay, I've got to turn that off. <laughs> it's working. It's working. Oh no. Am I going to be forced to play this? It's going to be one of Anakin's pod racers that falls apart. I can't believe I can't get out of this. Let me out. Let me out. That's the opposite of the guy shaking the thing. Let me out. Match mark complete. Cool. Get out of here. Okay, hang on. Let me bring up the Steam things. Can I get the settings without leaving the game? Okay, because I gotta turn off the um, night mode. Night mode. Okay, we're back. 
All right, well, let's get through the opening, I guess. New game, new game plus. I'm the cha I'm the knight. Challenge mode. Okay. Difficulty piss easy because we're not going to play a lot of this. Uh, okay. All right, we'll give this a go, and then um, we'll skip ahead to New Vegas. Now I think we'll call it there. The birth of Batman. So for anyone who hasn't seen this or played this game, mostly because it didn't get a great critical response, like, it's fine as a game. The real problem with it is that it's called Batman Arkham. Because uh, the other three games are so much better. No Fortnite? Fuck, I'm not fucking touching Fortnite. Get lost. <laughs> It's not wrong, it's THE Batman, and it's all one word. All units, all units, code 10 at Blackgate Prison. Communication is down, possible to 11. This game is kind of like year one of Batman. Suspect identified as Black Mask. Repeat, code 10 suspect is Black Mask. So it's very early in his Bat career. It also doesn't have the, uh, the voices. It's not Kevin Conroy as the Batman. You do realize it is Christmas Eve, sir. I'm surprised he went for the bat wing like straight away. You think he'd start with like the bat scooter or something, work his way up to it. You know, we should really talk to Batman about um, climate change and reducing his carbon footprint. So I feel like that very small trip he took in a jet is probably not necessary. I actually don't know who does his voice. I know it's, it's not Kevin Conroy, I know that. No, oh, no running. Batman doesn't run. Oh wait, no, it's his first year. It's his first year. He runs in his first year. Black mask can't be no loose end to my game. What do you No. Please! <laughs> oh, I'll kill you. But by the time I do, that eye won't be the only thing on me. What is that? Behind you! Oh come on! Expect me to fall. You should. I mean, write something original. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Kick in the face? Kick in the face. I'll do it. No, stay away. <laughs> break it. Break it! No, oh, he didn't break it. Batman is crazy. Literal billionaire to punch his poor people. He punches rich people too. He's equal opportunity. Well, I just sent that other guy into a coma. Is he still breathing? Captain Gordon. Not Commissioner Gordon yet. So, who the hell was in here? How you doing, boys? You good? It me. It the bat! Everybody drink. Uh, they're gonna try, I'm sure. <laughs> well, they all know who I am. It seems the rest of the public don't. These are black masks, men. I'll make them tell me where I can find black masks. What gave you that impression that they were black masks, men? Damn it. 
Eric. Stop trying to beat them to the punch. Oh, he's the last one. Still not? Could you go down? <laughs> That was easy. He said it's an inept that used this chamber. <laughs> it was bold. Smart move. Now you get to take a nap. Dead. <laughs> it's just like if you hit somebody so hard that it knocks them out and they don't wake up immediately, they're dead. All right, where am I going? Hey guys, where am I going? You help me out? The door's locked. It's still locked? It's not anymore. Okay, weird. Drones. A drone. That doesn't belong here. Wonder who's controlling it. <laughs> That's one way to get out. Camera is stuck in that position, I couldn't do it. Busy looking at the uh the only way that. to advance is to grapple up and over this gate. I should hurry. Yep. Well, I mean it seems to be running perfectly fine. So I mean other than like the seven twenty P business, but Hey. So Batman has the, the Jojo move. Oh, can I talk to him? No, I can't. Alright. I'm out of here. Select Batarang. Hold Batarang. Throw Batarang. What up, boys? Hit me. Nailed. Uh, Vicky Vale? Who's Vicky Vale? Please, we don't want any trouble. Okay. S. Nice. S rank. S rank bat. <laughs> super sexy style Batman. Not super sexy. Smoking sexy style. Smoking sexy style. Should I let him down? Okay, I'm not allowed. Did I really need to do that? I could have just pressed the button. D throw, huh? Who they got on this? Not the Joker for some reason. If we cry, it's gonna be pissed. Someone unexpected oh. good police commissioner. Happens. Stay out of my mind. What have I got to show for it, huh? My own men and slammer? Nah, I'm on the move. No, tonight, we're making some changes. Some big changes. Okay. 
why isn't Joker on death row? You know, why aren't half of the guys Batman has to fight is fighting with on death row? Anyway. Dum dum dum. What's up, boys? Let's go. Ugh. I'm not sure why that knocks him out. Like. Get past me. That's got to be yes. I didn't take a hit. Hey, fuck you. Once that wall beside it is weak, if I can find a way in behind it, I can take him down safely. This is before the the age of accessibility, where you could turn off the um, mash. Oh, is this Calendar Man's gaff? Yes. You got him. You scared him off, boss. He's fine. He just got hit. He just got hit by shrapnel. He's all right. This is very elaborate for a, a prison. Hmm. Yep. That's a skeleton, all right. Okay. What else we got? Any of these? Autopsy for the calendar man, what? He's not dead. Weird. Why am I in here? Oh, that's why. Smash, 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 smash. smash. I see. So the autopsy is because they're going to execute him. What's all this about, lads? Have I always come Ooh. to work for you? Oh, yeah. Things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate. I think you're not on it. What are you talking about? I'm not on it? After all, I'm not. Gonna give him the gas? Sure. No. <laughs> Smosh. Why did he smack that guy? Oh no, I'm too late to save the corrupt cop. It's a bat! That's a direction we can go in with this way. It's open. It does not. Is 
this restricted access. Probably this way. I don't think there's any like collectibles and stuff in this area because I don't think we come back here. Have you read Hyperion by Dan Simmons? It's a four book sci fi series I'm going through right now. I haven't, no. Is it sci fi or high fantasy? It's, they always get lumped into the same. <laughs> At least they're always lumped into the same part of my uh, bookshops for whatever reason. I'm not walking the whole way. I'm climb. All right. So boss fight, Killer Croc. Cause he's not on the helicopter. <laughs> I don't think it could carry him. Ah, oh, there he is. His design in the first game is much better. Smash, 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 smash! <laughs> really? I don't think so, somehow. Wow, yeah, you're getting zero time to do that. He's on no health. Do we? Yeah, you're welcome, assholes. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> sure hope my glider works backwards. 
Okay, I think it did. Uh, I'm halfway through and there are still a lot of unanswered questions that could be fantasy. Oh, okay. So it could be both. I have to look it up. Uh, it's been ages since I've read a series of these kind of things. I'm like the touch of death. <laughs> Authors fucking die when I start reading their series. If it's if it's complete, then I can give it a shot. Really? Got nothing? Nothing for that, Alfred? Alright. Every time you level up, you earn enough great point, yada 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 yada. Wait, have these, right? Do I have these, or...? Okay. Armor. Boring. Armor. Boring. Boring. Multi-grand takedown. I hardly ever used it when I did play this game properly. Blade, blade dodge we don't need for a while, because we're not going to fight any bladed guys for ages. That's warm. Maybe. Form a critical counter is to deliver double counter damage and add two counters to your combo. Yeah, probably this one. No, this one. I don't have access to this upgrade. Why not? Oh, for fuck's sake, do I have to work my way all the way up to it? Lame. It's from 1989. Okay, it's finished at least. All right, so I won't curse the guy if I start reading this. Okay, these are all boring. Ah, uh, that's not even a bit. All right, fine. I guess we're going for just the boring one in the armor. All right, where's the bat computer? The world? That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a prophet. Correct. His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Is he? Well, he didn't stop to check. He might be. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. Hey, look at all the bosses we're gonna be fighting. Black Mask isn't messing around. There's a lot of them. Slade Wilson. That's probably the more concerning one, really. <laughs> Listen, Alfred. There's a face I don't recognize. Copperhead. Strange. These reports reference a male, not a female. Fourteen escaped, huh? Well, you won't be here now. What the? I think the idea here is that they gender swapped for the game, or she's the daughter of the original Copperhead, or something like that. <laughs> this guy, fuck's sake. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. That'd be a tricky fight. And the big boy himself. Are the sound effects necessary? We know he's strong. <laughs> Why would he be taking money as a hired killer? Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got him 
outside the prison. No. Uses this how he lost his eyeball? And entertainment. Eight assassins up your well, only seven now. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Ah, but he's wearing a mask. It could be anybody. <laughs> Listen, Alfred. Don't understand. I'm the Batman. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in Yes, the game would be very short if I didn't. There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. No. I know what I'm I don't doing. really. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. With that thing set and ready to take you to Jezebel Plaza. What's uh there's a first person mode, isn't there? There it is. Okay, so this is just the mob guys. No fancy people. Red Hood. Oh, it's this Red Hood. So this. Okay, so this is a weird um, deep dive into Batman mythos, but one of the potential um, origins for the Joker is that he was. This red hood, the one has a kind of red dome thing on his head, and it's that he was forcibly put into it on one night, and they were taking over that chemical factory, and he falls in, and so on, and that was one claim. And then the red hood, as you might know, is also the name that Jason Todd takes when he comes back, uh, not as Robin anymore. He becomes Red Hood, the Joker Red Hood. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the one that they're looking at. And then Calendar Man, I think, is who we caught like right at the start of the game or before the game started. Anyway, interesting. It's from the Killing Joke. I think that's where it is. Yeah. It's this one. Gotham now second most dangerous city. Ah, oh, what's the first most? What is what is worse than Gotham City? <laughs> Gotham is the second most dangerous. What is the most dangerous city? Jesus. Can't be Metropolis. Well, actually, it might be Metropolis, because I don't... Superman isn't a thing yet. So I think Batman starts his career before Superman shows up. But even still, Metropolis didn't strike me as a heavy crime city. The Med Bay? Yep. Mm-hmm. Seen this before. <sighs> it's a skeleton. Oh, hang on. Flies. Blood types. Sorry, he's got lots of blood types. All the different types. Surely he'd only need his own. But okay. Why does he have so many different blood types? You only need... Oh. Oh, he's a universal donor. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't need any other ones, but okay. Keep empty. Unknown substances. Ace 10 contents. Okay. Keep doing that. I think this is just the combat arena over here. Yeah, that's the combat arena. And this is the beginnings of the Batmobile. He's just starting to put it together. the Arkham Asylum Batmobile as well by the looks of it. Okay, 
right, did I miss anything? There's the stuff over there. Hang on. On the blackboard. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, well, I know this bottom stuff is genetics, but <laughs> I'm not sure what this top area is. Cave is too big. If I walk, we'll be here all night. Let's just back up to the, the house if I wanted to. Oh well, the controls are broken, so I guess we're not going back upstairs. Does any do any of the Arkham games put you in the actual Wayne Manor? I don't think so. Like, Arkham Knight has a sequence at the end, but it's a cutscene. Yeah, I don't think any of them put you in Wayne Manor. Arkham City at least has you play Bruce Wayne for a bit, right at the beginning. Wait, what was that? Batsuit Chamber. Oh, this is DLC stuff. Okay. One of one of my preset destinations could take you right to Jezebel Plaza. Listen, Alfred, I want to actually fly the plane. No, it's like, no, we can't do that. This game's on PS3, you can't fly the plane, the console will blow up. Oh, good job, Alfred. <laughs> you could have landed on the roof, Bruce. What won't they expect? Nobody in the Batman universe looks up. Gotcha. See ya. Where are our friends? There. I can sneak up on the hostage taker by crawling. Yeah, I know, I know. You think it's the guy that hired us? You pissed him off or something? <laughs> and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Why is that? Why was that vent so easy to break? This was just supposed to be a service call. You can fix the tower in and out. Yeah, you do. Don't hurt me. 
All I want is for you to get yourself. Yeah, get out of here. You're gonna cause me problems. What's this alleged takedown? And another universe Bruce KO'd himself. <laughs> What the hell was that? Huh. Must have been a large rat or something. I can get the jump up. See ya. I mean, who's gonna come look for this guy, right? He's dead. Like he's not dead right now, but he's gonna die eventually. I mean, we're all gonna die eventually, sure. But you know what I mean. is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out Indeed? what happened. I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon. A Gotham How do you know that? Sent here to he just looked at him. He's like, yep, that's him. What killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Uh. Oh, this one. Yep, uh-huh. Okay, fucking magic software Batman has. <laughs> Kablamo! Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that axis. Jesus. I should scan it for additional clues. So, Arkham VR, for anyone who's played it, uh, is a lot like this. It's just like first-person Batman detective stuff. I really like it. It's a very simple VR game, but I really like it. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired, and it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints. You behind. idiot, Alfred! I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. Bullshit! It is nowhere near that fast. Batman paces too when he's on the phone. What's curious? Mr. Bakers, yes, sir. His body was recovered from the diamond district just <sighs> an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption code from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show It's me there. I can see it. <laughs> okay. I mean fine. I'll do the I'll do the tutorial, but it's it's there. It's in the vent. Where does access card disappear to when he got yeeted? Okay. Here it is. Uh, uh, uh. That's where it went. Really? Can I just pick it up? Okay. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. Helpful. On Fort Unis. Hmm. Let me change the code too. What? That one just engages in some. Alfred, no Allen wrenches in the back belt. I don't think so, no. Just rip the thing off. Send the data for my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. You think Batman would just have, like, a, like the tool belt, an actual tool belt? Maybe not a big hammer, but, like, a set of. He must have, like, a set of lock picking things and whatever else. How fucking close do I need to be? Jesus, okay. Well, well, the bells and the chains start hmm. to ring again. Figured it was up to you now to find your way to Gotham. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery, one you're never going Doubt. to solve. Enigma, then. Taken offline. 
and you still can't hack it. I mean, that would be cool. Fly zone? I think it's obvious he paid you to shut down all these things, but whatever. With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the bat wing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. <laughs> I just saw on the top right, extortion files, zero of 20. Batman. Who are you extorting? He just has nudes. He just has nudes of a bunch. Or he, I have to collect nudes of a bunch of, like, politicians or something. <laughs> That's his extortion files. I just realized the game audio is very low because we were playing The Darkness last, so I'm going to put it up a bit. Although, to be fair, I think we're going to move on to a different game. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I, I mean, I always had control of the Batwing. That's right? the plan. Then I've also got a lead on a Enigma. Piece. Don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. Work it out. <gasps> it's the shot that everybody likes in these open world games when you get a big shot of the map. I'm running out of time. I should head for Jezebel Plaza. Jezebel Plaza's over here. Then... Get you guys to beat up. Hey boys, what's up? <laughs> That's a crazy fight! Potential assignment incoming. Keep this channel open. Crime in progress, don't care. I'm not here to solve petty crimes. This is the real test of the deck. The open world? Alright, we'll hang around here for a bit then, I guess. You do make you do have a point. Yeah. How do I Well, I don't have a lot of room to do it now, but maybe next time. Like the crime in progress the GCP dispatcher just mentioned. I could go investigate, perhaps stop the crime, but I also need to get to the arms deal at Jezebel Plaza. All right, let's do this. Get the bat! Can I get an inverted takedown on anybody? No. Shame. suck. <laughs> and you hit me once. Okay, what I was trying to figure out is how to do the um, collapse your cape and then open it again. The dive bomb. Oh, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Oops. Oh dear. Well, if I had stopped right there, we wouldn't have seen it. All right, we got a crash. 50 minutes in. <laughs> Fatal error. Yeah, okay, nasty. Right. It does, now, to be fair to the game, it did say it's unsupported. Anyway. Right. Uh, what time is it? Okay, we'll give... Um, all right, so there's one more that is... Playable but not supported. Or playable but not entirely. So what is New Vegas' problem? This game's launcher setup tool may require a touchscreen. That's fine. We have a keyboard. Entering some text requires manually. It's fine. We have a keyboard. The game supports Steam Deck's native display resolution but does not set it by default. Okay. 
but we'll just play around with the settings, which we have been doing. So. All right, this is the last one we're going to check. I don't know how much of the game I'm actually going to play. <laughs> this, this, this little uh, test run has taken a while. So what have we discovered? Um, Arkham Origins crashed not too far into the open world segment. We'll have to see uh, how bad that is. You can magnify small text as well. Didn't know you could do that. Neat. Um, Beyond Good and Evil is tiny aspect ratio. <laughs> not aspect ratio, uh, actual size. Okay. You do that. Your know, settings have been set for high quality. Okay, we're in another situation where I can barely see the mouse. Alright. Looks like it set it itself. Desync is on. It's fine. Yeah, Beyond Good and Evil was a weird uh, resolution, and we didn't have an option to change it. It's a very bare-bones PC port. Um, what was the other game we started playing? Darkest Dungeon? I couldn't see the mouse. AMD Red V Van Gogh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm sure it's a graphics card thing, but I don't know what that means. I am not a PC player, if, it, if that hasn't come across. I'm more of a press the button and everything works fine kind of player. Okay, continue. Must have played the game at some point. All right, we are once again in a position where I can't see the mouse. It's probably because I have the controller connected. Because I have to control it. Deborah will be fine. Now, I'll have to check if I don't have the controller connected, what some of these games might behave differently. Why New Vegas and not Fallout 3, Derek? New Vegas is better. <laughs> it's just better in every way. And Fallout 4, let's not talk about Fallout 4. And why not Fallout 1 and 2? Uh, they don't work. <laughs> and I don't have them, also. Yeah, my Steam library, I thought it was a much bigger library, but... Looking over it now, I think it's mostly just... Uh, stuff I've picked up off Humble Bundles. Um, and like some various keys and a couple of games that were like hilariously cheap. That's the outfit we want. That's the outfit we want by the end of the game. And we're not gonna play the whole game. We're only gonna play like a tutorial, basically. Splat. Kaisar Legion. Even further. Chandler. At least they don't have us digging our own grave. Somebody dig the grave for us. never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. I think that's the first game. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united in the NCR the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. They're only a little the fascist. Republic grew, Just so a little bit. Scouts spread east, 
seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse. Of course, then we have Caesar's Legion, which is very much, <laughs> very much fascist. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world, and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. What they didn't count on. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training <laughs> There is that mission where you have to go in and uh, Through it all, talk to Vegas Caesar, but this business. is the great thing about New Vegas. You could just kill him its as well. <laughs> overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. And there's Mr. House, who's also a... Uh, you are a courier. Hired by the Mojave Express faction leader, we'll say, but you can replace him. Strip. You can you can take over what and become like Mr. House. Delivery job has taken a turn for the on the other hand, we got to get out of our grave first, so we should probably work on that. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to that is a out. yellow beard that guy has. We can get it over with. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. It's a good magic trick. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Ow. It's okay. We'll we'll, sh we'll just shrug that head wound off. Now, like the game could be buggy, but I don't think we'll put that down to the Steam Deck. Because <laughs> it's. it's a it's a Fallout game. They're fucking buggy as shit. DLC stuff. DLC stuff. Apparently I have DLC stuff for this game. You're awake. How about that? How about that? Do you have an upside down head? Or a massively rotating head? No? Whoa, everything's fine. Easy there. Easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a sec? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh, my name is Career. <laughs> that would be very... You know what? I like that. My name is Career. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Yeah, it's fine and good. I take pride in my needle, Better left my but you porn memory alone. I left in at the it's the only thing I've got left. How'd I do? Terrible. I don't look like this. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, mutton chops, man. Unless they're not mutton chops. Where are they? Handlebars, I guess. Good. Really bad guile. These are all terrible. It's not that, like, the faces were particularly great in, uh, Fallout games. Also not like you see your own face very often, either. I don't know why I'm even bothering. We're not going to be playing the game very long. Come on. Can I get a full beard? Kinda? Why are these all terrible? <laughs> They're 
all so bad. Sure. Let's just move on. Get to the actual yeah, gameplay. Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. No, Let's really? No sense? You on your feet. Reasonably certain I have a concussion. I should probably be in bed. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. You're looking good so far. Music. Go ahead and I was trying to. You wouldn't let me. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your facts. Use that. All right, five points. Uh, strength. What kind of character do we want? No. Perception is a good one to have. Endurance. The nah. charisma. Yes. Int. That's a pretty standard score Oi. there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good. But you got on there. bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Didn't even give me any clothes. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat, yeah. House. <laughs> A qu own? <laughs> Good. I'd like to own one, please. Nay. Hey. No, we're not meant to be going for opposites. Shit end it. <laughs> Crush, stab, Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese. Light. Dark. Yeah. Mother. <laughs> Human shield. <laughs> Caretaker. Now you can okay. install a bunch of emulators uh, on the Steam Deck. You can emulate Xbox oh, OS with it and run Fortnite. I am not touching Fortnite. <laughs> First one. But yeah, you can run an emulator off. That's something I do need to look at. What was the question? Disagree? I ain't given to relying on others for support. Agree? I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Okay. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems. No, I'm a stealthy all. son of a bitch. Disagree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Oh, no, no, no. I guess, no, none of these. Like, I'm gonna change whatever if I can decides to tell me what, what's here anyway. So let's cut that. Okay, how about this one? Spider. None of them. Great. Uh... Last Two gnomes year. clapping hands. Once again, none of these. Uh, my bearded man is the closest. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. All right, anyway, we're changing all these. Uh, 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 not energy weapons, because you don't pick one up for fucking ages. Speech. Sneak. Mm, like, I like to be stealthy, but I'm not actually that good at it. Probably guns. Okay. 
Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. You got a form. I need a semen sample. Your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Two traits. Okay. Built to destroy. Claustrophobia. Early bird. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire twenty percent more quickly. Oh, these are all take something but something negative as well. Yeah, I'm thinking that I'm not going to take any of these. Unless Weird Wasteland is there. Weird Wasteland there? there. Oh, Wild Wasteland. Yeah, that's a funny one. Wild Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic America. Not for the faint of heart or the serious of temperament. It's that one, because it's stupid. bother with the rest of them all right I guess that about does it come with me I'll see you out Where is he? There he is. can I have some clothes here these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. Sure, it's ever. They call it a oh. pip boy. I was gonna I say, why do? Uh, how come I have a pip boy? We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Why are you giving it to me then? Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. It's my best. Hardcore mode. Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time. Cannot mend broken limbs. Rad away removes radiation over time. Ammunition has weight. Dehydration is a constant concern. This mode is only recommended for advanced players. You may turn hardcore mode on up. I did a run with the hardcore mode. It's fun. I like it. But not for today, at least. It's not like, uh, it's not permadeath hardcore mode. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yes, okay. Put on some pants. All oh, weapons falling. Okay, it's fine. Go away. Clothes. Oh, clothes. Clothes? <sighs> Alright, got the chump suit. What else we got? Agility minus one. Armored suit as well. Guns, pistol. I know there's a way to set these to um, hotkeys. It's fine. I'll do it later. Agree, hardcore was well done in this game. Yeah, I really liked it. I don't normally go for like the survival stuff, but I really liked it in this game. All right, sunny smiles is over here. I mean, this is working pretty good. Dead, dead money. That was a weird DLC. Really hard to. Hey, buddy. Cheyenne, stay. 
Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. You gonna tell her to? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they've done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Hey. Can I can I go this way? Can I just follow you? <laughs> I'm just gonna follow you. Am I allowed to here? Employees only? What? A ghost. Shoot our precious antique cans. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple okay. of them. What am I taking? Everything all right? Until next time. Did you time. give me a gun? You said take this. Okay, she gave me one. <laughs> uh, this is why I wanted to do this with mouse and keyboard, but it's not playing. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Crouch. Go. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't. Shooting at an yeah, I was about to say we're shooting bottom. directly into an occupied building. I gotta go to <laughs> that goes away from a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. There's Victor. We'll get to him in a minute. Mm. So anytime I played this game, it's stealthy and it's long guns, usually. And then I'm the most charismatic man on the, pl on the planet. <laughs> Talk my way out of trouble. Open up computers, open up any door. If I can't avoid getting out of trouble, then it's long guns for the most part. It's the way I always play the games. I haven't done a low intelligence run. Like, they do change the dialogue if your character is very low intelligence. And it's like your very stupid <laughs> dialogue op op uh, opportunities. Getting in the way, Cheyenne. Lead the way. I can hear them. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Is he gonna is he gonna Let's be treating more? A closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on him. More likely to hit something vital that way. Hey. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Right. He's already aware of my presence. Fuck. Oh, there's bats. It's like, how do I use bats? Go away. Oh, way too far away. All right. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna have to wait for him to get closer. We're fine. Caution is fine. Danger is the problem. Danger means they know you're you're here. Still twenty six. I'm not bothering unless it's fifty. Ah, he knows I'm here. Ah, fifty is much better. I like confirm. Fifty two. Didn't like that, did you? Done. How do I put the gun away? There it is. See? You're 
the hang of it? There's two more wells that still need clearing. If you want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. All right. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Or a fork. Where'd you go? Where'd she go? I'm not doing this by myself. Okay, she's already gone off shooting people. Welcome. I have a feeling. Oh no, that was her. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I was thinking I found some other geckos to fight. <laughs> she instant transmitted into it. She's like, Zoop. <laughs> she even left the dog behind. Hey, you're welcome, by the way. Howdy. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Nice. One more thing ah, I wanted to like... show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a broccoli flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Are we cooking? Meth? Is it meth? Sunny. I'll ask her later. All right, find a brock flower and a zander root. Right, let's follow this one. It's fridge. Hey. Oops. <laughs> well. Afraid that's the end of the franchise. Shame. So that's one of the wild wasteland things. Anytime you see in the top left the swirly eyes fallout guy, that's uh, a wild wasteland thing has happened. Suppose I can put a hat on. Perception plus one. Ah, yeah, why not? very far away. No, I'm not putting on the radio. I don't want to get banned. Nope. Enemies. Scorpy boys. Gland? Sure. Make something with that. Alright, I think the graveyard is all the way at the top of the hill.
Because we haven't had to deal with Cazadors yet. Even the Twitch VOD system is sensitive to New Vegas music, yeah. Detectives? Oh, they don't care? Find that unlikely. Okay, they don't seem to care. I hate blowflies. At least it's not Cazadors. I hate them more, but. Coming after me? You okay? Want to fight? You gonna leave me alone? No, he's coming after me. Damn it. He's fucking off now. Come back here. That's so bad. Oops. Alright, what did I come up here for anyway? This stuff. Right, got that. Here's where I got dug out of. Stay over there. Alright, never fighting Cazadors. I used to live in Vegas, and I've seen the wasps' casadors are based on their terrifying. Oh God, they're terrifying. <sighs> I hate them so much. They're worse than the uh, whatever the Death Stalkers, whatever the fuck they're called. They're worse than them. Way worse. What do you what do you think? Over by the schoolhouse in a room in a village that doesn't have any children. Don't ask questions. What is this? Oh. Howdy. No, that's the schoolhouse. Right. Grasshopper little shits. These nympho mantises. Got a whole one XP for that. Where is it? Huh? Is it standing on? Is it? Oh, it's this. What? <laughs> what are they supposed to do? Tear it down the schoolhouse? You you reuse it for something? I don't know. Walked into a stop sign, everything's fine. You know, the only thing that I would give Fallout for any, like, slack for was that you could rebuild stuff. What it pissed me off was that you could only rebuild it shit. Like, you couldn't rebuild it as new. It would only be shitty, rusty metal and whatever else. It's like, let me make it nice again, <laughs> you know? Yeah, Sunny. It's water. Delicious. <laughs> Where has she gone? 
Oh, no. No, no, no. Where's the radio? Gotta turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Is that Give a it euphemism a for weed? A weed? One weed. Make. Do. Oh, accepted. Why? Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. And a, a wiki Sometimes to, to tell you all of them. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. But you haven't. You didn't ask me. You alluded to it, but you didn't actually ask me. Should I still go? Cheyenne, should I still go? Yeah, hmm. Uh, awkward. Yes. It's actually part of the quest, I think, that I do have to go. Oh, off, 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 off. Steal everything. If you ever see Wonder Glue, steal it. All the time. Wonder Glue is incredibly hard to come across, and you will need it for so many things. We're doing fine. No, it's running as well as I remember it running anyway. Not having not having the mouse and keyboard. I assume it's because the controller is connected. Is the issue. That it just prioritizes the controller when it launches. Because I think the Steam Deck itself um, recognizes that the controller is connected and launches with that setup. And they have some kind of layer between the game and the Steam Deck to tell you what controller to be using. So it might be the case that if I launch this without the Xbox connected, or the Xbox controller connected, it might uh, use the keyboard instead. Zero out of 100 saves used. I don't remember seeing that before. I don't know. Thousand, even. This game. Okay, what time are we looking at? Uh, it's pretty late. Okay, I think I'll leave it there. We've been streaming for quite a while tonight. Okay, so the to um, wrap up or recap, Batman Arkham Origins was fine until it hit the open world and then it crashed pretty much immediately. Not quite immediately. It could be the case that it's an intermittent crash and we could just put up with it, but I don't know. I'll have to test that more. Beyond Good and Evil is a fairly old game, and its resolution is not changeable, so it is very, very low res, to the point that it is really tiny. I assume you can connect a keyboard? Yeah, I have one connected. It's down here. I have a mouse as well. Um, I, You can even you can see it there. There's the mouse and the keyboard, like, I'm typing with it. Keyboard. So you can connect them, but I have a feeling the Steam Deck prioritizes controllers over uh, the mouse and keyboard. Um, yeah, Beyond Good and Evil, you can't change its resolution, and it seems to default to its lowest possible resolution, so that's probably something that needs to be, like, go into the INIs and the INI file and force it to be a particular resolution, something like that. Darkest Dungeon, uh, I can't see the mouse. So, that game's kind of unplayable, <laughs> if I can't see the mouse cursor. I can see it activating things, like, I can see it lighting up and hovering over stuff, but it's really hard to tell where it is on the screen. Darkness 2 was fine. There was no issue. You know, it says playable, not verified, but I it might be a little bit weird on the uh, handheld, but docked, it's fine. Dead Space, we didn't try, but it's verified, so I don't imagine it'll be a problem. Uh, New Vegas was grand. No issue. Other than the mouse and keyboard thing, which again, 
pretty sure it's a case of launching it without the Xbox controller connected. It could be the same thing for Darkest Dungeon. If I launch that without the controller connected, just the mouse and keyboard, it might go, okay, I'll use that instead. Or maybe, hang on. I know there's a way to set up I know there's a way to set up um what community controllers are used. Yeah, I don't know. It's something I'll have to look into. Uh Hollow Knight is verified. Yep, works. No problem. That's cool that it links to the workshop. Yeah, and Darkest Dungeon has a shit ton of mods as well. Uh, Skyrim, similarly. Tons of mods. I assume, because you can get to like the desktop on this thing as well, so you could just go to Nexus mods as well and to install stuff there. Limbo, we didn't try, but again, it's verified. I'm sure it's fine. And Portal was the first game we tried, and yeah, there was no issue. It's a verified thing. Um, one thing I can do is just show you guys real quick, which is you can just drop out to the desktop. Actually, I haven't done this in docked mode, so this might be a problem. But yeah, you can... Hmm, hang on. I think I need to turn on and off the Elgato. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't do it in docked mode. Fair enough. But it should. I can see it on my screen. Oh, I know what it is. It's actually doing a dual screen thing. I can do that. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's treating it as two screens. Okay, hang on. I'm going to restart the Elgato. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's coming in as like an 8K image on OBS. Interesting. Can I swap? Configure desktop. That's not what I want. I want to set which screen is the primary screen. How do I do that? Yeah, that, that's the desktop thing. That's not what I want. Fresh desktop? No. Fresh desktop. Okay, anyway. Uh, that's not going to be <laughs> visible to you guys. <laughs> okay, I'll swap back to the... Any second now. Right. Turns itself on on the deck first. Then launches itself into blackness. All right, we're back. Uh, hang on. I gotta once again deactivate, reactivate. You want to come back? Give it a second. Hmm. Okay, one sec. Maybe it might. Okay, because it's back on my screen. The Elgato doesn't seem to want to turn itself back on. Huh. <laughs> okay, lesson learned. Don't go to desktop mode while you're connected to the Elgato. Okay. Um, I could. The only way I'll get this back is by restarting OBS, so we're going to have to leave it there. But yeah, um, that was a decent enough run. Oh, it's doing something. Having fun at least.
I'm sure it'll figure itself out eventually. I'll try it again. Hang on. It's gone to the world's tiniest screen. No, okay, it's fucked. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I can only change that if I uh, start and restart uh, OBS, so I'm not doing that. Well, we'll just finish up there. That was a fairly long stream, but we did get a couple of games tested out. Some things I do need to check is what happens if I launch without a controller connected, and then after that, I'll need to start investing in, like, wireless controllers, keyboards, mice, mouses, whatever. Uh, yeah, but it's a, it's a viable option for emulating games for uh, PC-only games that I'm not typically able to play because I'm only PlayStation and Steam. What the fuck are you doing, Elgato? Anyway, um, yeah, I'll leave it there, though. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to continue Resident Evil. Uh, I'm just at the end of Jill's playthrough, and we'll probably start, probably get about halfway through Chris's playthrough tomorrow as well. And on Sunday, we'll do the weekly games, a weekly news recap where we talk about uh, industry stuff. I don't know what's going on with Elgato. It's fun stuff, though. Anyway, um, games, updates, uh, announcements, release dates, trailers, that kind of thing, um, and industry bullshit happening in the background and all that kind of stuff. So see you guys tomorrow for Resident Evil. Thanks for dropping in, Doom Train Inc., and anyone lurking uh, in the background. Uh, if you want to check out any of the ga other games uh, that I've been playing on the channel, uh, you can find the archives over at uh, youtube.com slash doomtrain5. Um, and if you're on YouTube watching this and manage to put <laughs> manage to put up uh, with all the shit that happened there at the end, thanks. And also, if you want to check this stuff out live, uh, twitch.tv slash doomtrain5 is where you'll find all that. Right, uh, I'm going to head off and hopefully fix the Elgato. Oh, well, I haven't fucking bricked it now. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you.